So, um, are there things you were doing before you joined Zion Ministry that made you stop doing? Go, go. I, I, yes, a lot. <laughs> a lot. Let's hear that. Okay. One of the things I do then, I have um, this anger issues. Okay. And I'm a person that don't really take God serious. I don't think the things of God serious. Okay. And I'm a person that, I'm a Thomas. Do you understand? I'm a very ignorant, I'm a person that ignore a lot. I do ignore a lot. And, but since I get to know Zion and hear Evangelist Chukwe Bukan as you'll be preaching, it has really changed my life. And it changed me for 100% good. Wow, interesting. Hello, viewers, and I have an outstanding personality with me. It's no other person than MC Hallelujah, aka Zion First Son, aka Legado Zezu. Hey, I hope you're on the <laughs> Yes, I know. I know. Okay, um, let's meet you. Introduction about yourself, where you're from. Okay, my actual name is Marvelous. Um, yes, I'm from Imo State. Yes, Uguta to be prescribed. Okay. And um, yeah. I was born and brought up in Edo State. Yes. Okay, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a media practitioner. I'm a comedian. I'm an MC. I'm a social media influencer, a blogger. So I'm a content creator. I'm an actor. Yeah, that is what I do. Interesting. What personality of the prophet do you admire so much? <laughs> grace of exploration. The grace. I use the word with, with all due respect. I, I really wonder how people can be envious or trying to pray for the grace of um hearing from god and prophecy with eastern solution me i don't want it what i want is the grace to explore grace grace of favor the grace in him is enough to excel me and which is already excelling me so there's no that is what i need and uh, coming to sacrifice for this is doing fast for days months weeks i ain't doing those things man i can't do it another thing again i love about him is the simplicity interesting he's very simple with the kind of person in the world i know he doesn't know how people talk about him outside the, this country okay to the glory of god i have traveled i've heard people okay i was in uk i heard how people was like man really if, if you only know who this man is people don't know him abroad do you understand oh, yeah. so he's a personality that he doesn't even know of do you think uh the teaching of the prophet is impactful to the youth of our today's nigeria i'm one of the teaching <laughs> i'm one of the imparting so the thing is first of all i'm sorry for using this word i don't actually tell i don't actually convince anybody again to come to zion because i will tell you if you don't want to come don't come i don't beg you let me take enough let me be food before you come the preaching have changed me so i'll use myself as an example it's it's, it's doing well so, um, are there things you were doing before you joined Zion Ministry that made you stop doing? Go, go. I, I, yes, a lot. <laughs> a lot. Let's hear that. Okay. One of the things I do then, I have um, this anger issues. Okay. And I'm a person that don't really take God serious. I don't think the things of God serious. Okay. And I'm a person that, I'm a Thomas. Do you understand? I'm a very ignorant, I'm a person that ignore a lot. I do ignore a lot and but since i get to know zion and hear evangelist Chukwe Bukan as you'll be preaching it has really changed my life and it changed me for 100 percent good wow interesting go personal are you ready yes let's go say that's massive <laughs> that is massive <laughs> <laughs> all right what transpired in your last relationship you can categorically tell us about ladies uh, sincerely speaking my past relationship was her fire was better than it um first of all what i want to say now this is the first time i'm saying it on air because i wrote it down god himself that didn't choose a wife or get a wife for himself have a reason god that did not create female angels have a reason even our father jesus christ that did not choose a wife for himself have a reason so that means there's a lot of things in a woman that we need to reason women are complicated vassal that if you don't take your time you see that they will lose you or you will lose it so for me women are cool but if you meet the right one and i believe zion as well i've been training a lot of good women because right now if you check a lot of young guys they prefer to come and get married in zion because they know that the women here that are not married are scared to go out of relationship so they want to give their all to have a better home okay so how well do you know your bible me 
I told you before that I was not good with church or you know, even from the one prophet okay, Abuka have been saying. Yes, I, no, yes, I used to know the ones. All the ones he's saying, I know some of them. Okay, so let's so let's give me three Bible verses you've heard Prophet Abuka will be uh, talked about during uh, the program. You know, he always preach love. He's a man of love. So in that place, he said, "Love," John three sixteen. <laughs> For God so love the world. You know that. Yeah, yeah, that now one is one. Yeah. Number two, Luke 22, verse 22. He said, Father, forgive them, for they did not know what they that is. It yeah. Yeah. that is number two. Then in in Genesis chapter one, he said, In the beginning was the world, and was the word was the God. <laughs> he went there and said, And the word was <laughs> God only okay, knows. Number four. Give us number four. Number four. Yeah. Now, the, Jesus, on your label, be sister, uh, give us. we will leave this for another day <laughs> <laughs> because if I give you now, you will fall under the anointing. Somebody give us number four, Charlie. <laughs> you don't know your Bible, but well, you tried anyways. You, you, tried. You. you tried, okay. Um, so in your downtime, what Bible verse keeps you going? Psalm, um, Psalm 91, verse 1. He that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And also Psalm 190. And you know, he said, um, no weapon formed or fashion against you shall prosper. Wow. So I use these verses because of my kind of job. So whenever I want to go to bed, I speak this word to my spirit. My spirit is aware that nothing can hit him. Interesting. So, uh, what's the prayer for Zion Ministry? My prayer is every native doctor in Nigeria should start, uh, should start using Zion sticker in their shrine. Every is a one. Is it, isn't that contradictory? No. The thing is, see, they know they know that Jesus exists. Jesus has power. They know that the Supreme God is there. Do you understand? Okay. It's just that they do their things in their own way. So they should start using it. And as they want it to, they should look into it. It will help their work. Because sometimes when you see that they will come now, when you do like this now, as they want used to, some of them used to do that thing. There is one you said in your page, I think, I don't call anybody's name, that mm. said Jesus. Oh, look at those. Also. Our sister, and I will call her name now. No, 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 okay. No, 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 no. Okay. You know, the lady, she said, as she was talking to her fans. Her yes. glass ah. cup broke. Mela Glasgow, bro, she shout Jesus. So come on, who want who who can rescue you if it's not Jesus? Oh no, God. your as a wife can never rescue you. Okay, All this is not to collect money from people. I know man, not talk. Many people are today talk. Okay. I don't want to enter anybody now. Okay, so your prayer for Zion Ministry is what? My prayer for Zion Ministry is to expand wow. and help youth to be better than the way they are, and as well. God should give evangelist Chukwe Bukanos will be the strength for this journey because many people would have started, they could not have the strength. And I'm praying for long life and prosperity for him and Zion to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Are you married? No. So, what kind of lady do you wish to end up with? <laughs> Let's hear your spec. You sure? want to hear your spec of ladies My that you spec. want since you're still single. I don't have big eyes though. I need a woman. I need a Christianity girl that have little touch of a shower. Okay. You understand? Yeah. I know it's, it's, it sounds awkward. Say you can never be too holy than your spirit. Daddy even said it used to preach it on Tuesday. You as a woman that got married, you will wear a gown, maternity gown, stay with your husband in the house. You are going out, you wear the same gown. No, now. Nah. Look something, even though it's devilish. Leave you, get home, I'll deliver you. So that, so that, so that's all you want. <laughs> that's, that's, I just need a Christianity girl that have little touch of us. I was simple. <laughs> yes. So, all right, guys. We have come to the end of this amazing, uh, beautiful conversation with MC. Hallelujah. And it's really an amazing one. So do well to watch this video, okay? Stay for four months. Not so, before this. so four months now, you're not saying ciao, oh ciao. Goodness. If it's easy, many people would have gone. It's grace. Oh, yeah, 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 anyways. Ciao, ciao. Hello. Ciao, ciao. Cut, 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 cut. <laughs>